is a great day to be alive. My name is Chioma Okwara. This is a half hour program that focuses on the beautiful world of us and leisure. Today I have a rich package for you. Let's start right away. It was a touchless journey from where I lived to Olambe in Ogun State. Akute Olambe have terribly, terribly bad roads. <laughs> but the beautiful event that took me there has erased every bad memory I could possibly have. Twelve artists exhibited and an art icon delivered a lecture. Stick around. They're gaily dressed because it's a celebration of visual arts. Twelve artists have their works on display and the legend Dr. Bruce Onobrakpeya declared the exhibition open. To the glory of God and to the service of mankind. Amen. The artists worked on the theme, Nigerian visual artists and Nigerian politics. It's a mixed media technique work of art uh, produced to fit the theme. It is titled Nigerian Conodrome. This is Nigerian Conodrome 2. I've had the first one in the past. And this second one particularly is targeted uh, to celebrate the eve of our political era which took place uh, in terms of the projection for 2015. And in the work you see a lot of uh, plaques or cutouts depicting exactly what we have. I always leave it for the artist or the viewer to interpret my works. Because if you divide this work into two, you see it has the dark and the light. So it's for you to know where does Nigeria really fit in. We have the experiencing of the Chibok girls and all the bombing. And we have behind the veil here a very rich and endowed country. You see the money we have all around. And then you have the politicians depicted in my little way, carrying the nation. That is it. And I say from that, where do we go from here? Some of Wright's abstract piece is titled Always a Way Out. If I looked at the political structure that I do of the most in Nigeria, the one that has to do with a lot of panic and only bad things, bad news are being uh, propelled. And uh, people now begin to see that there's always going to be a problem, going to be a problem anytime there's um, going to be one form of election or something is happening in the country. But as an artist who is a colorist, I decided to use color to express what I think should be happening. So I look only at the positive result that we are praying about. Evelyn Osage is a journalist. She's exhibiting nine photographs which she took at different times. I have works spanning over seven years, um, from 2008 to uh, 2015. Uh, works on tourism, on artists, on children, on, on women, on, on our culture. We Africans, Nigerians, we appreciate dance a lot and uh, we appreciate festivals and um, work on unity, work on celebrating our artists and our poets, work celebrating places, sites like Oshobo, Idonre, Susan Wenja uh, too. I have one of our a work here celebrating her, a house that I, I, I call Wenja's Art. I always like to capture moments in time. It wasn't all about exhibition. Dr. Bruce Onobrakweya delivered a paper on Nigerian visual artists and empowerment. Not an average man or woman actually regards us, visual art, our paintings, sculptures, etc., exhibited in galleries and museums. Are home in walls of rich people, the rich people's living rooms. The dress we wear, including jewelry and shoes, decorations in our homes, the furniture, utensils, and photographs are all digital artworks created by artists. He did this piece in order to identify with the sufferings of the Chibok girls. I feel intensely what you are going through. Because I too have been kidnapped as a child during our Ekene festival. The place was jammed out with people. Someone from nowhere snatched me and was taking me away when someone who knew my parents ran after 
after the person got me back and gave me back to my to my parents. Awards were given to all the participating artists. Chief Edoze and Princess Teresa Iyashe are committed to the promotion of visual arts. They organize a yearly exhibition. One of our set out goals at this Greenhouse Art Empowerment Center is that we are more of community based, community centered. And what we do actually is yearly or annually, we invite guests to come into this community. And as you all of here, we all know what we experienced in getting here, the challenges we faced, and how individuals can go back home and see how they can contribute to touch lives further apart from just the nation only. This large turnout is a show of solidarity for their doggedness. You are a great inspiration to everybody, including myself. You've given me more energy to, to do more for Abaroto. Princess Iyashe, an accomplished artist, also showed her collection. This couple believes that visual arts is a potential gold mine for the country. Welcome back. Well done, Chief Edoze and Princess Iyashe. Now let's get to Victoria Island part of Lagos State. For one week, art lovers will be treated to good music and dance in this year's Muson Festival. The date is 18th to 25th October. More details if you stay tuned. For 32 years, the Musical Society of Nigeria has been in the forefront of arts promotion in the country. During my chairmanship of Muzon in the late 1990s, I decided that the activities of Muzon should go beyond classical music and showcase all the arts at the highest level. I therefore instituted a two-week-long Muzon festival. Apart from classical music concerts, the festival events included jazz, traditional Nigerian music and dance, drama productions, and art exhibitions. The features in this year's Musan Festival will be classical concert, festival recital, jazz night, dance, and festival gala. In the classical concert and the closing opera, the Pirates of Penzance, graduates of Adikoma School, as well as current students, feature prominently as singers and instrumentalists. The selection cream of current students in the diploma school are also scheduled to give a festival recital while this year's jazz night will feature performances by the school's current and former students in the school's big band jazz quintet and girls role band the youth concert the grand finale of a talent hunt is organized by the school's faculty and finally mrs edna shoyongo the school deputy director is one of the distinguished guests who will be featured in this year's personality program, My Kind of Music. This year, we are consolidating a new policy of inviting outstanding stakeholders in the performing arts sector to participate as partners in our annual festival. Jesus Christ Superstar, a timeless musical written by Andrew Lloyd Weber and Time Rise will be performed. When it was first um, done in 1971-72 by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice, it was the first time that a rock opera had been done. And since, those, since then, it's remained evergreen and original. Um, I remember that we did it when I was at St. Gregory's College in 1976. We've also done a production of Jesus Christ Superstar here in 2006 for the Catholic Church of Divine Mercy. So this is the second or third time that we're reprising it. But it's interesting and in accordance with the policy of the Playhouse, what you're going to find is relatively unknown people 
but who are extremely talented. It's part of the creative workshops that we run, and through those workshops, a lot of talented people emerge. The Society for Performing Arts will add her own flavor. About a month ago, a new Nigerian dance forum was formed, and we have about 1,200 dancers who have gathered together to become a voice for the city of Lagos and all the studios that have opened over the years because of SPAN. So it's very interesting to know that this year, at the Busan Center Festival, we will be presenting a dance concert called The Gathering. And you will have, thank you, and you will have all the dance, major dance studios and dance groups in Nigeria coming together to present the element of diversity that you can see in our country. The Musan Festival will take place from 18th to the 25th of October, 2015. Comments have been made to the effect that Muson is elitist or that it is for Europeans. These comments are unfortunate and show myopia. Let us draw an analogy with Christianity. We do not describe it as a European religion, even though it was introduced to us by Europeans. It has become the religion of millions of our people because of its universal message. Similarly, the message of classical music is universal. Indeed, some of its greatest champions and performers today are from far away China, Japan, and Korea. Why should we be left out? It is my expectation that the festival will become a pointer to the future direction of Luzon, namely a center for all the arts. That's what you get when you watch Art and Leisure will tell you where to go for quality relaxation. Yes, let me put it that way. <laughs> All right, now let's go to Ashun State where farmers and other stakeholders gathered to talk passionately about how kola nut and other indigenous stimulants can generate so much revenue for our great nation. Art and Leisure is interested in this. You too should be. So stay. These are locally produced and they are all stimulants. Caffeine in Kola Nut is the best caffeine all over the world. Two products are caffeine, Kola Nut and coffee. But that of Kola is the superior one. They have gone over the world and they, they attest to it. So, and without caffeine, pharmaceutical industry cannot work. Have you understand? So, so that you, that is the first thing you can know that is very important. Have you understand? Others, like the champion is, uh, the chairman was talking about, there's one woman using cola nut to make champion in, in uh, Djibouti. And he carries his overseas, his first served overseas. So, uh, there are chocolates from cola nut that developed by current, the current association of Nigeria. Cola nut and other medicinal farm produce are in great demand worldwide. Nations have leveraged on the richness of their soil to produce them in large quantity and export same to other parts of the world not so richly blessed. Many associations have sprung up as a result of the vast potential inherent in these. The first of the energy is to refocus our economy and bring Nigeria to the future beyond oil. And as such, when we look at this side of Poland, we see that there are a lot of uses, like we have been told about champagne wine. We can use it even for beverage. We have been in cream, we have produced cola cocoa beverage. The so-called fast food outlets are getting more and more popular as our youth see them more as outlets for the elite or the modern man. But the fact is the food produces most of these fast food outlets are laced or injected with various kinds of chemicals that are not good for human consumption. We must therefore encourage 
and support local organic food production through organic farming. We must do away with artificial chemicals. The federal government, through the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, assists farmers in exportation. The ministry has a department in charge of commodities and products. And that department is a member of international commodity associations. And being a member there, we promote our own commodity developments, encouraging our own people to produce these commodities to the required state, the required standard, and the required form to be able to meet up with the international prices. And our membership in the international arena is there to open up, to create markets, and also to bring home those needs of the international community as regards the requirements of our own products in terms of standard, in terms of prices, quality, and so on. Okay? So the ministry is doing all this. And why we be members of these international commodity organizations? The various commodities that have membership internationally, we are there. And we represent this country there. The Center for Black and African Arts and Civilization also plays a leading role here. The mandate of CBAC encourages CBAC to identify our cultural values, promote and propagate the same and particularly develop a synergy among all other African nations so that our culture will not only remain but will increase in bounds and at the end of the day surpass every other culture in the world. CBAC is there not only for Nigeria but for the network of all African states and pan-African uh, locations all over the world and that is why anything in culture we are interested Today it is about Kola not. tomorrow it is about uh, Obono. But we are also thinking that the best way of ensuring that we have our own unparalleled development is when we come back to identify those uh, cultural values, those uh, cultural uh, products which the whole world will be after. And if we organize ourselves very well, we can produce, mass produce them, process them here and export them. This press conference is in preparation for the forthcoming international conference on Africa's indigenous stimulants. I live in France and when I want to buy one bitter, one cola nut, they have to put it on the scale and weigh it. And the minimum you can probably pay for that is like 90 cents, sign 90 cents, about one euro. One euro, as we speak, makes about 230,000, naira. So where can you buy one bitter cola for one cola nut for 233 naira. It is impossible. But when I buy, they were forced to do that because that is their policy. So what, what we're saying is that we want to engage, we want the government to look in, inward and see what we can make out of all of these things. And so it is very important. And we saw that the people they are doing many things with their with their herbs and leaves, and we have more than these things in Nigeria. So I was like, okay, let me let me conceptualize this concept conference series by sensitizing the general public on the medicinal content of our crops and bringing the stakeholders along with me, the people that have been doing research on this, the stakeholders and the key people in the, in the sector. And I'm very happy and I'm very lucky to have them believe in the concept. And we, since we started 2011, it has not been easy, but thank God we are making progress. Already in its fourth edition, the theme for this year's event is utilization of Africa's indigenous stimulants as key to poverty eradication. Chief Audobe, who says he's been a farmer since he was six, gives a counsel. I'm saying to young people, if you have land in your village, start a plantation if the land is not encumbered. While you're doing your thing now, four or five years from now, you find you're earning money, and I'm in particular talking of Obono, which I, we're asking uh, Nihot uh, to develop in large quantities. So that plant 200 trees, four or five years from now, you are a rich person for life. The fourth edition of the International Conference on Africa's Indigenous Stimulants will take place in Oshobo, Ocean State, from 27th to 28th October 2015. It's a crucial period for the state of Oshun to look into revenue, internally generated revenue. This conference will be to everyone's benefit because it will make room for wealth creation and diversification.
good to have you back. Our culture promotes hard work and I join other stakeholders to say let agriculture and agro-enterprise become the anchor and springboard of our economy once again. Now to our leisure segment, the Lagos Icon Lions Club has a new president. It was a beautiful ceremony as Chief Mrs. Comfort Oluranti Adepoju was installed. You'd find this interesting, so stay. For one year, she was at the helm of affairs of the Lagos Icon Lions Club as her first president. My tenure was a fantastic uh, tenure, 2014 stroke 15. And uh, the club members were so wonderful. The mantle of leadership has fallen on Chief Mrs. Comfort, Oluranti Adekboju. Her family must approve before she's installed. So she may not be there as she used to be for you. So I'm stepping our organ, the man of the house. Sam, are you willing to support her in every way possible? Financially, in all ramifications, are you ready to throw your weight behind that side? Oh, attempt. Was there an election? Yes, ma'am. And Lion Chief Adebochu was duly elected as the president? She was first elected. Lion Chief Adebochu, having been elected to the office of president for your club, you have his chief executive officer. I will be expected to preside at all meetings of your club. Hi, Princess Molly Pace, Bobby Cassie, and the first president of this club and the second president. I hereby strike this gun once for the last time. Lion President, I now turn over this gavel as a token of your flaws, esteem, love, and confidence in you. And as a symbol of authority, on behalf of the membership of your club, I want to assure you of your readiness to follow your leadership during your term of office. May I please now ask you to strike this gong for the first time. I, Lion Chief Mrs. Compass, I think what you I this power precisely 20 minutes, 20 minutes past five, call this guy the corner. She says she'll hit the ground running. I have certain percentage that I give out to those in need. This time around, I'll dedicate that to the cause of the eye clinic for the lesbians. Lagos Icon Lions Club has a membership of 36. 
12 of them will assist the president in her one-year tenure. I look towards being a strong bank boon towards um, all her endeavors. That way, I'll, I'll start by being a good team leader. I, I need to help to coordinate all other members. Lions Club is an international organization whose fight against blindness is legendary. Dr. Mrs. Modupe Idris, the chief ophthalmologist of the Lagos State Teaching Hospital, gave a lecture on how blindness can be averted. Lions Club International is 98 years old. Members are encouraged to render selfless service to their communities. Usually we are always number one when it comes to emergencies. During the flood period, Lions Club of Nigeria was the first to run to the aid of those who are affected. Lion Comfort Adekwaju has affirmed her resolve to raise the bar. She was prayed for. Funke Akindele, an accomplished actress, made a special appearance. With smiles, she has accepted to lead a team which will build and equip an eye and ear clinic at the cost of 100 million naira. It will be an eventful year, she says. My mom helped a lot of people. She touched life. How can an 80-year-old woman die? And people will be crying, wailing, because they didn't want that to go, but she was touching life. So I want to be remembered for that too, for touching life. Welcome back. We wish her a successful turnout. Now to our last report, we're going all the way to Kano State. I attended a beautiful ceremony. It's called Kamu Amaria, which means catching the bride. Take a look. In two days, Farida will be getting married. Her friends, cousins, and aunties have come to pour milk on her. They are treating her nicely whilst waiting for the house to be full. Now the ceremony begins. Each came with a good quantity of fresh milk to pour on this beautiful bride. This practice is common amongst Fulanese who are getting married for the first time. When a girl is getting married, the first thing they do, the first day, is to, is to pour the milk on her. That shows that she is no more She's no more a girl, she's now a woman. Why use milk? You know, the Fulani are known with the milk. Some people use perfume. As for Farida, they use the perfume before the milk. The houses use the perfume to show that she's getting married. Young Fulani men also get this treatment when they're about to marry. Women do to young ladies and men do to young men but close family members of the opposite sex are allowed to participate in both. When they are doing it for the girl, is mostly women and girls. Her friends, her relatives, her cousins, they all come and a few of her boy, uh, cousins, boys, they also come. This tradition is fast fading away, but the Yola family in Kano have kept it alive. On that happy note, we say thank you so much for being a part of today's program. You know, you have opportunity to watch art and leisure at a convenience. Just type www.artandleisure.com.ng There are so many episodes for you to watch, more than 60 episodes, and we encourage you to always leave a comment afterwards. My name is Chioma Okpara, same station, same time, next week, God willing, we'll be here with something special. Until then, love yourself, love Nigeria.